We are learning more about the classroom aide at Milford High School who is facing charges of sexual contact with a minor. Police say Denise Nagel had multiple sexual encounters with the student that she knew outside of school. Now we now know she has been an aide in special needs classrooms for nine years. WCPO 9 News reporter Josh Bazan asks about her role working with those students in the wake of these serious allegations. Milford Schools has placed Denise Nagel on paid administrative leave while police continue their investigation and the case moves through the court system. And we're, we're disappointed, um, we're disgusted. Milford exempted Village School Superintendent John Spicer says he was shocked when Miami Township Police arrested 44-year-old Denise Nagel for sex crimes involving a 15-year-old student. Police say there is no evidence of any wrongdoing at the school and say there is no indication Nagel used her role at the school to take advantage of the boy, but say that doesn't make what happened any less serious. This is a heinous crime. This is a crime against the youth of of Miami Township and and it's a it's a scar um, for the school district. Police say the victim was not in any classes with Nagel. Well, she would uh, be in a specific um, high needs classroom and she would be with uh, likely be with a specific student uh, for most of the day. Nagel has been in that role since 2013. Miami Township Police are investigating whether she was sexually involved with any other students over the years, but say right now that doesn't appear to be the case. Is there any concern, Superintendent, the nature of what she's alleged to have done and her role working with students that are particularly vulnerable? No, not at this time. Since she's been there for maybe a long time, if there was you know, multiple students, um, their investigation will reveal that. Um, at this time, we do not believe that that is the case. In court today, a Claremont County judge ordered Nagel to have no contact with the victim or his family, no contact with Milford High School, and no unsupervised contact with any person under the age of 18. Reporting at Milford High School, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.